In this video, we're going to present the solution to question number 12 for the practice exam number three for Math 2270. We are given a three by three matrix A, and we're told that lambda equals two is an eigenvalue of A. With this information in this matrix, we need to compute a basis for the eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda equals two. Now, the, the, the eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda equals two, that means the null space of A minus two times the identity. Or if you prefer, you could take the null space of two times the identity minus A. It doesn't matter if you take A minus lambda the identity or lambda identity minus A, because uh, these matrices only differ by a negative one, which will not affect the eigenvalues, the characteristic polynomial, the eigenspace, any of it. So you can do either one. It doesn't really matter. So if I take 2i minus A, what that means is I'm going to take 2 times the identity. So you get 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2. And you subtract from it A, 4, 4, negative 2, 1, 4, negative 1, 3, 6, negative 1. What you get is the following. You're going to get 2 minus 4, which is a negative 2. You're going to get 0 minus 4, which is a negative 4. You're going to get 0 plus 2 for the first row. For the second row, you get 0 minus 1. You get 2 minus 4. And you're going to get 0 plus 1. For the last row, you're going to get 0 minus 3. You're going to get 0 minus 6. And then you're going to get 2 plus 1, which is 3, like so. In which case, now we need to row reduce this matrix. To, we, want, we need to find a basis for the null space of this matrix right here. Now, because lambda equals 2 is an eigenvalue, we can guarantee that there's going to be a row of zeros in this situation. Um, and how we want to proceed, you know, there's a lot of things we could do. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the first row and move it to the top because I want a 1 there. I'm also going to times it by negative 1. I'm going to times the first row by negative 1 there. So what that then gives us is a new matrix. We're going to get 1, 2, negative 1. We're going to get negative 2, negative 4, and 2. And we're going to get negative 3, negative 6, and 3, like so. And so now having a 1 in my pivot position, I can notice below uh, the second and third rows are just scalar multiples of the first row. I'm going to take row 2 here. I just take row 2 because the second row is just the first row times negative 2. So I'm going to take row 2. I'm going to add to it 2 times row 1. That's going to cancel out to give me a row of zeros. I'm going to do the same thing for row 3, but this time I'm going to take 3 times row 1, for which that's just going to cancel out these rows. And then we find the REF of this matrix 2i minus a will be 1, 2, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, like so. For which case... We could revert this matrix back to the corresponding uh, homogeneous system of equations and solve for it. Uh, that is, you could solve for the dependent variables with respect to the free variables. So there's going to be two free variables here. x2 and x3 are going to be free variables. x1 will then be dependent upon that, for which you could rewrite this as simply just x1 is equal to negative 2x2 plus x3, right? Because this equation was x1 plus 2x2 uh, minus x3 is equal to 0. You could go from there and start unpeeling things from there. But when you have the RREF, you need to find a basis for the null space. You can rip it apart really quickly from what you see right here. So what we in fact see is that the null space of 2i minus a is going to equal the span of the following two vectors. You're going to get two vectors because they coincide with the free variables. And so filling out the chart here, uh, we have a free variable in the second position and in the third position. So we're just kind of like a blank right here for the x1, which we'll come back to in just a second. So you get 1, 0, and 0, 1. And then filling in that blank, we're just going to look at this row right here because this corresponds with the first pivot. And we just switch the signs. So we're going to get a negative 2 and a positive 1. So a basis for the eigenspace here is going to be negative 2, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. We need to find a basis for 2i minus a, right? And then once... To do that, you find the RREF, which we did right here, and then you can read the basis of the null space from the RREF.